gonna do first this is what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna play the video but i'm gonna play the sound of what she said so that you guys can hear what she said right yo this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black man just what and they don't give a yeah this man this man hit me with grab the rock and he hit me in my what have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? So she says, what has she ever done to anybody in her life to deserve that? Right? That's what she said. It's interesting because she has some opinions about some other things, right? So let, let's see what some of these opinions are, right? Let's check out this video first. So Kiki Baby Daddy, and that's his name, if you ask me. That's his credentials and his name. So he said he want a traditional family, huh? <laughs> Stop playing with us. It's very much giving men who never talk about equality, never talk about women's rights. And the only time they want to talk about equality is when they want to pay 50-50. Yo, our activism will never serve you or your dust. Never! So he was depending and operating on the good girl myth. The good girl myth is a false narrative that if you behave, dress, talk, and follow certain rules that you will be rewarded with some kind of protection and be provided for by men. But as you see right here, you see her take on the whole Darius Jackson, Kiki Palmer situation. She said, y'all want traditional relationships. And then she burst out laughing. Like that's funny. You know, in, in other words, I know that you men want traditional relationships, but us modern women, we're not going to give you that. And then laughed about it. So my thing is, if you're going to sit there and laugh about denying men tradition, how could you then turn and expect men to traditionally protect you? Because the same way Darius was expecting Kiki to behave like a traditional woman and do traditional things. You, the moment that you got assaulted, expected the men to be traditional as well. Which is why the moment that it happened, you were out there screaming about how the men won't ish because they didn't protect you and they just stood around and watched it happen and blah, blah, blah. It's called a social contract. How can you expect the men to adhere to that traditional social contract when you spend most of your time making fun of it? Not to mention, Darius never did nothing to you. But you laughing at his misfortune. Saying that your, your activism will never support our dust. That's what you think about men. But you expect them to protect you. I honestly think that some dude may have said something to you, whether it was asking for your phone number or whether it was just regular talk or whatever, and you said something crazy to him. And look, I'm not condoning no violence against anybody. You feel me? It, 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 this shit already happened. It, it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? Like the dudes that was there told you, call the police. Call the police. Why are you, why are you screaming for black men? Call the police. If some dude hits you with a brick, that's assault with a deadly weapon. Call the police. Call the police. You ain't no problem calling on your boyfriend. Check this out. 
Let's sit here, mixed people, and notice how I did not identify you. So it's Pause. PSA. You are not special, mixed people. So now, she just, she just went in on Darius. Just went in on men that want traditional relationships. Now she's about to go in on light-skinned folk. Let's sit here, mixed people, and notice how I did not identify you. Since y'all want to be mixed so bad. Black folks, that's what y'all are, black folks. Since they want to be mixed so bad. Yeah, because they, they can control who they were born by. Black folks, that's what y'all are. Black folks, you're having a black experience. Everybody in the black community gets it. You get made fun of for being poor. You get made fun of for being rich. You get made fun of for being smart. You get made fun of for being dumb. You get made fun of for being light. And you get made fun of for being dark. So you're not the only one who got bullied in school. A lot of dark skinned girls were being called a lot of vulgar things in school too. Wham, 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 wham. So stop writing these fake ass dissertations. Or so wham, 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 wham. So guess what? If you got bullied in school for being mixed, she's saying she don't give a Wham, wham, wham. She's making fun of your pain. But when she was sitting on that hospital bed, she said, what did I ever do to anybody? Actually, I know you illiterates do not know how to write. Stop having chat, GPT, write you some bullshit and send it to me because I don't care, okay? Welcome to the black community. You're having a black experience. You're not special. You're not special. <laughs> Today you must learn you're not special, okay? You're a black person having a black experience. And if you want to talk to somebody about it, talk to your white family members if they will talk to you back. And also you're making Drake look really bad right now. Let's see what else she had to say. Cause she ain't finished. Oh no, she's not finished. She's not finished. And this right here is the coup de gras. Happy Pride. I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman because we are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect them. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. She said we are the innate protectors and providers. And why is she expecting the brothers to protect? She just said that women are the innate protectors. We are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect societies, we protect communities with our intellectual property, with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the ones and the two, not even the three. <laughs> Cause men are not providers and protectors, not innately, cause they only protect what they possess. I mean, I mean, you said it yourself. You said it yourself. You said y'all are the innate protectors. We're not. So I'm confused. I'm, I'm really trying to understand why, right? Mm, mm, mm. Lord have mercy. But th this is what, this, this, this is the type of person that is sitting in the hospital trying to elicit sympathy. The type of person that says these type of hateful things. Right? And everybody, everybody's supposed to feel bad for her, right? And I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people out there that do feel bad for her. You feel me? I can recognize I could recognize her being a horrible person but I can also recognize her humanity you feel what I'm saying as a black man it is very difficult for me not to recognize somebody's humanity 
because black men are constantly treated that way we're constantly treated like we have no humanity you know what i'm saying so it's difficult for me not to recognize a person's humanity so i will say this let's let's take it away from her for a second right nobody should be hitting anybody with bricks okay <laughs> Nobody should be hitting anybody with bricks. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and, and if a person is hit with a brick, you should contact the authorities and let them handle it. You feel what I'm saying? You shouldn't be on the internet chasing clout. You shouldn't be on the internet chasing clout. You feel what I'm saying? And you definitely shouldn't be on the internet talking about some what did I ever do to anybody when you got a whole history on your TikTok of talking trash to everybody? Talking trash to men, talking trash to mixed folk, talking trash to white folk. Like you, you got a whole history of talking trash to people. And if that wasn't bad enough, there are two videos circulating the internet right now where she walks up to a man and just slaps him in the face. And I even had, I even looked at the comment section and there was one comment that was saying, oh, they consented to it. Now, why grown men would be consenting to random women walking up to them and slapping them, I have no idea. But there were two videos. There's one where there's a white guy sitting in the chair. She walks up to this guy, looks like a little outdoor cafe or whatever. And she says something about him being white and her being a black woman and him having privilege or something. And then she slaps him and walks away. That's where the video ends. And then there's another one that happened the same night that she allegedly had someone, a black man, throw a brick at her or whatever. She walks up to this guy in this crowded street and you can't tell what she says. She says something cursing or whatever. And she hauls off and slaps him and then struts away, stops in the middle of the street and starts twerking. I'm not even joking. You know, I would show it here, but I'm not for obvious reasons. But you can look it up. All you got to do is go to TikTok and it'll come up. So this woman, there's more to this story. There's more to this story. And I got a feeling it's going to come out. But we're going to see how it's going to play out. 